Greetings everyone and welcome to another episode on my survivor world and today is a little bit of a special but I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. Um, the first thing I want to discuss before the special special part it came out kind of weird but um, I went to the end and went on an enchanting spree and I did three shovels and I got these enchants on it. Efficiency 3, Fortune 2, so useless. Uh, efficiency 4, I mean. But that's. Efficiency 4 is a good enchant. Um, this is the best one, though. Look at that. Just look at that. I'm breaking 3, Efficiency 4, Soak Touch 1. That's exactly what I wanted. And Efficiency 4, I'm breaking 3. But um, something weird did happen over at the end, and I'll show you that now. So, I came to my XP farm, my Enderman XP farm, and found myself here when I spawned in. And something's very wrong. Um, my spawn platform seemed to have dropped itself three blocks. One, two, three. Because before, it was on this level, and I could just walk up and jump up these stairs. But now it's sunk into the ground right here. And I have no clue what's going on. But it makes me very nervous about the state of my end. Um, let's go up here and see what's going on. And the end looks purple. I don't know. What's going on? Okay, my at least my... Dragon portal is here and safe, and everything looks good on the island itself, so hopefully my grinder's still okay. Um, let's go there pretty quickly. But I came here to enchant these three diamond shovels to hopefully get silk touch, and um, I will do that, definitely, but I really want to see if this is okay, and... It looks like it. Um, this grinder is never finished properly. But. Yeah, it looks okay. Which is cool. Okay. Actually, there's. Okay, no, it was just. Poor chunk loading. Yep, okay. I'll see you back in the overworld. Yeah, so when I was in the end, my spawn, my end spawn, turned out to be three blocks slower than what I believe it was before. I have no clue how that happened. Um, mysteries of Minecraft, I guess. Um, <laughs> it's kind of weird. Actually, I have absolutely no clue. But I'm not going to dwell on it. I could easily raise it up. And the second thing I want to discuss is with the silk touch. I got ice. Yep, you s there's a little clip of me getting my first ice. Because I wanted to record that moment on camera. And I've used that ice already um, in this reed farm. You can actually see that this water, you might notice that this water is actually a lot darker blue. And if there's ice beneath water, it turns out that this has a really nice blue color to it. And if I harvest... Yeah! The reeds come to me quickly. Don't have much to harvest right now, but... Um, I'll grab some more reeds for more plans. Did not upgrade this cactus farm yet. Two. Okay, I've always, there's always seems, ooh, there's, there's another cacti coming. As you can see, I might need to upgrade this cacti farm. The cacti is pretty, pretty slow coming. Let's put that in, and then I upgraded the pumpkin and melon farms to ice too. Um, ice roads, you can see the darker blue in the water because it's ice now. And there's also a darker blue in the melons. 
can see it warps super fast. Um, I did have problems. Well, I did see problem because this glowstone melted this ice beneath this block right here, and that would be a big problem if um, this is water, because all the loot will fall into that hole there. I did protect it, so the ice is surrounded by uh, stone brick, so I'm not worried about an overflow or spillage or anything, but um, but uh, the ice might melt. I still have to test wait and see, but after adding this water in, it reduces the light level an extra block, an extra number, so I'm thinking this ice might be safe, because it is safe already, and like me walking around, even speaking, it probably would have melted, and at least one of them would have. But they haven't yet, so that's a good sign. No zombie pigmen yet. You heard that, right? Wait. What? Okay. I think it just ate an extra bread. I significantly... That's the wrong word to use. I specifically remember having 10 bread and I only hold right I only held right click to eat one of them. And now and then you heard an extra eating sound. And then I had eight bread. So I have no clue what's going on there. I'll need to check the footage for some ghost eating bread time. Oof. <laughs> uh, weird, weird, weird. Um, but the main part of this, um, when I ended the last video in the village, I'm sorry if that was that was a talky one and might have bored, um, made some of you bored, but um, I was. At the village and I said I was going to plan on starting to do a chant soon. So then I was like I'm going to get a bunch of books. Because the librarians would be the easiest way to get emeralds. Then I started uh, getting supplies to get the reeds. And then I typically when I play I watch videos. other Like other Minecrafters on YouTube myself. And the first video I watched was a backlog of Ethos videos, Ethos Survival World. And the very first thing he did in that video while I was beginning to work on my reed farm was Etho was working on his reed farm to trade with the villagers. So, you know that one emoticon with the long eyes and the long mouth? Yeah, that's exactly how I felt <laughs> at that particular moment. I never had a more appropriate time for that face to be um, my exact feelings. Huh. <sighs> wow. So, but anyways, I do have a very small reed farm going around long right next to the village, but I'm not going to use that um, because it's, I don't want to use it right next to the village. I want it to be its own place. And I thought about it on my world a lot and I was looking for a good place for it and I actually found one. I think I found a good one right over here in this part of my world if it could load. Um, let's go over there and take a look. But because there's a huge part of this that is desert swamp. And the water is only one deep, so it's very easy. It'll be very easy for me to. Did I pick those up? Okay, good. To make a reed farm because of all the water source, that was the major problem I had in the other. In the uh, um, village reed farm, was shuffling all the water around to the appropriate spots. It took forever. And if I have all this short lake water like this, I could easily just place the sand and then go. And then I I wanted jack lanterns to 
this, this shovel is maybe a little bit too fast. But I wanted jack o' lanterns to put beneath the water to light it up. I might actually just use my fists. Don't want to spend time, extra time. Actually, is right there. Whoops. But this will be fairly easy to do. And while I do this, I have some pretty good news. Um, my channel has reached the one year mark since I uploaded my very first video. Um, August 3rd was my intro, uh, my minecart intro with my name, and the Zelda theme chest music. Um, it's been one, uh, August 3rd was when I uploaded that video, and it's now August 10th. Um, I believe that's, and it's now August 10th, whoops, too fast, there we go, but yeah, so it's been a full year since I uploaded that, and this world, um, first started on August 8th, was the first video I showed on this world, and it was showing off the seed, where I was in 1.7, beta 1.7 creative mode, as I called it, back before creative mode even existed and in that I was flying around showing off the seed because of my 1.7 mob spawner in the middle of the huge lake it was a great spot to have a mob spawner in the lake and um, that was August 8th and so that means this world's over here old and I'm very much looking forward to a whole nother year. Um, like I can't, when I saw that it was a year a year old, I realized just how much is done on this world in only one year. Um, a lot has been done actually, and there's a lot been a lot of changes to Minecraft. And what I'm most excited to is the next year. What will happen? What will come out in the next year? what will happen um, and all that sorts of stuff but now I wanted to spend this moment sharing some of or trying to recall some of my favorite moments in the past year because um, for a special in a way because I could have done another world tour but I think I've done one recently as a if recent is included in videos number like because I since I rarely release videos on this world I know it's been kind of frequent lately and I like that but since it is kind of um, but I done a world like a complete world tour fairly recent as far as the numbers go and by that I mean I think this is episode 35 or 36 and I think maybe 30 was the full world tour or something somewhere along the lines of that so right, this is coming up already I'm liking it but I didn't want to do another world tour because it was like that and I wanted to share some of my favorite moments in the past year so, some of my favorite moments in the past year include, um, really just starting off this world, noticing how it uh, all came out. One of my most memorable moments was getting Mellow High for the first time in this world in my record farm. Uh, Mellow High is my favorite disc by far, and it was great finally getting one of those on this world. Um, it was out in the updates for quite a while, but I never actually bothered to get it or spent the time to get it, I guess, because I did bother to get it. I don't, I don't know, that's a poor choice of words, but um, I actually got it and I'm quite, it's a memorable, memorable moment and all around. And... Some other moments through the past year include 
watching the Reddit Minecraft tournaments Space for Wolves stuff and then becoming a part of that community. Um, Minecon was some of my favorite moments too. Meeting a bunch of cool LPers there like Good and BWO. Meeting them was very, very cool. And then I met Coastar there too. And he was, he's a cool guy. Definitely. And then meeting other people there too like Ron Smalik. I met him there. R. Smalik. You will know him from my Vinyl Fantasy series with him. But meeting him at Minecon was definitely a good thing to happen. Um, we've been in talking and things like that ever since. And um, without meeting him there, I probably would have never found um, that the adventure map making community. And I never would have gotten into those sort of maps at all. And seeing the development from an adventure map maker's point of view. Because before that moment, I was only into PvP maps. And for a while afterwards, I was into CTM. Because I never really got into that before. Um, don't really know why, but I got into those... I actually forget. When was Swamp of Sorrow? Swamp of Sorrow was my first one by Exo Thomas, and that's another good memory. Playing Ex Exo Thomas's maps, the Crypt Lands. Um, I I've read that he's back and working on the fourth one, well Crypt Lands four, and that's pretty cool. And I look forward to what he has to create. And some of my favorite moments on YouTube were. Making the videos on floating memories, that full playthrough. And I was really bad at playing, like just plain old PvE, just constantly dying and all that. And those are some really great moments burning down the whole jungle. <laughs> uh, very good moments, very good moments. With that, uh, Reminds me, I look back on some of my very old videos, like episode 1 and 2 of On This World, and my voice was very static, it was very, ooh, now the read form starting to glow, but my voice was very, um, what's the proper word for this? funny because it's kind of ironic what I have to say next in my head but um it's very monotonic I was very hesitant in saying what I had to say and I was very slow at saying what I had to say and very it was kind of meh really um I was not really getting what I wanted to say out and um it just felt off the whole time watching it. And I realize I'm much better at talking now. Um, I don't just pause for long stretches anymore. And I don't just... Well, I'm losing my words now, but... I feel like I'm much better than where I was one year ago. And that's great um, because that was one of the reasons why I started the channel was to improve um, right here was to improve my uh, speech to get get my words out and to become a better speaker overall and get that and I have definitely reached that mark um, my next goal would be to get my words straightened out it's like in this video already, the ironic, ironic part I mentioned earlier was I have a hard time finding the right word to say in a certain situation, right adjective. Um, I know all the words, I just um, sometimes blink out on the appropriate word or use the a word that I don't quite mean, even though I know that it's a word I don't quite mean to say. 
And that would be another next improvement. Um, clearing my... Getting my speech straightened out. And I really want to do that and improve in that way. And that's another reason why I make videos. And I look forward to that. So, um... I'll continue to build this reed farm. Actually, I want to explore now. I want to see exactly how much of this sand, this one high sand is around. Because I could get some quite some reed farms going. And I have a quite an excellent view of sign fields at the same time. I'm also thinking of having a rail system. A very short rail line from sign fields to this reed farm but we'll see about that in the future at least i'll need a firm walkway okay so it gets deeper over here yeah a bit much deeper so we can't really do the same pattern on um, this is a little curvy beach but that's about it and this part looks more promising Ooh, much more promising. Look at that. That's huge. Very huge. And there's already weeds there to help me out. Let's take out these guys. Okay. You're in level 17 too. Oh yeah. There's a lot of weeds around here. Ooh, and there's... Ooh, yes, I do want... I do... Indeed, want some squid. Um, I could get rid of. Oh, I heard a zombie. Oh well. Are those squid right by my reeds? I don't know. But we'll take out these guys. Apparently, they're not one hit. I don't know. But this seems very promising. Look, this is very huge. And by the time I'm probably done planting and storing all of them away. Oh, I'm not picking these up. Pro okay, by the time I'm done picking them off from over there, I'll probably have to start over again. That would be fun. Um, lots of reeds. And then hopefully get some librarians over here. And initiate trades with the librarians. Yep. And get a ton of emeralds that way before they nerf it. Because, speaking of seeing Etho start to use reeds, the, the instant I mentioned I would. Oh, extra arrows gone. Oh well. But um, I also noticed that a ton of others were mentioning using reeds too. And then trading with the priest to get glowstone and the good stuff. Ooh. Hello, Lava Lake. Um, I explored this way once upon a time a, long, a while ago to search for... NPC village and jungles when 1.2 came out. Yeah. That sounds funny saying a long time ago because it's only 1.3 now. But I guess it has been a long time since an update. There's a lava pit right there. And then this this one tall water goes quite a ways. Um, what about this direction? This is kind of frozen though, so I don't want to rely on it. Although a pumpkin will probably keep it unfrozen. Um, but I do want some lily pads. I'm going to need a lot of those. Um, I don't really know a better way. Um, I just up the reeds from falling into the water. And, and most imp more importantly, stop myself from falling in. Because... Hopping in and out of that water will get very tiresome very fast. And um, I want to. Lily pads are by far the best way, but in this world, I don't have many 
actual swamps with lily pads in them. Like, this is a swamp, but it was a swamp before lily pads were even out, so there is no, there are no, ooh, don't look at you without a sword. There are no lily pads in these waters, so I can't simply farm them. I'm going to have to probably explore out sometime, find the first mushroom biome, and find a lily pad swamp. Oh, here we go. Oh. These are precious to me. All lily pads are. But yeah, I'm going to need to find out some lily pads because they're unrenewable. Um, ooh, there's a jungle right there. Are you following me? Yes, you are. So yes, I, I'm hoping for a way to farm lily pads soon. Because I don't fancy expanding my world out any more than it is already. Media fire is starting out to like. It did. It did eat a ghost bread. I watched it with my own eyes. It's starting out to like. But yeah, media fire. Fire is not liking the size of my world, even in zip format, when I make a backup bot for it. Um, I can no longer email it to myself because of the file size. I can't add an attachment to my email that large. And these sheep updated the mushrooms. So yeah, I'm going to have to explore for more lily pads, but don't fancy it. I don't fancy it. That's why I've been holding off for now, because I don't really need mushrooms. I am stable without the stew. Um, more bread than I could eat. But that's some cool mountains right behind my little biome there. 31 lily pads. I've used 30 jack o' lanterns already. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to collect some lily pads and work on my reed farm a bit more. And I will actually just end this video here. I'm looking forward to another year of making videos and playing Minecraft and other games like Terraria. And. This is Dungon and I will see you next time.